Hello everyone, it's Jen and welcome back to my craft table. So today I am going to attempt probably my biggest project to date. I'm actually going to turn this into a family calendar for all of our schedules. We are quite a busy family and everybody has different things coming and going. So I thought it would be good to turn this into a calendar that we could then, um, everybody could choose a different color of a Visa Vis marker and be able to write their events on the front of the glass. The supplies that I'm gonna be using today is obviously this really ginormous frame. And then I've got some uh, white uh, removable, removable vinyl, but this will go underneath the glass. First we have all of our tools. So I've got a weeding tool, scissors. I might need a bigger pair of scissors. We've got our tweezers, measuring tape. I do have this mat under here but I might still need to do some hand measuring and of course our scrapers and the rubbing alcohol is simply to make sure that our glass is perfectly clean. The thing that I have is parchment paper that I may or may not need to use to help us with placement and then of course our green standard grip cutting mat. Let's head over to Cricut Design Space and get started on our biggest project to date. Okay, so here I am in Cricut Design Space. This and is the general idea of what it will look like. I wanted to go ahead and check some of the customizations and I'll just show you a few of those. It is going to look like this on the calendar. And a couple of things that I have. I have a, um, I have a calendar grid that you see here. And above the calendar grid, I have the days of the week. I just used individual letters. Then I have a month and a line for the month. I think to make this most versatile, that I thought that it would just be easier for me to write the name of the month instead of uh, worrying about having all of the months on there with vinyl. In each of these little bitty boxes, that's where I will put the, the date of the day. And I have five weeks because, you know, sometimes we have months that have a partial week here at the top and a partial week at the bottom, and we need more than four weeks. I have over here, I have a flower design and another flower design. If I were to click on both of these, I can see that this is 15.61 times 1.4. Now, I do not have the 24 by 12 mat. So I left each one of these elements separate so that they will get placed on a standard 12 by 12 mat with no problem. My calendar grid, this is a, an 11 and a half by 11.38. So this is as big as I could get my mat to go without having to have the larger mat, which is fine because that allows me then to have this notes spot over here. So this will be just a blank area on the on the um, the glass where we can write notes or we can menu plan or just whatever we need to to make it it will be available i'm going to go over to make we're going to have two cuttings okay and so actually for the first time in a while or i'm going to be using both of my mats so the first cut is going to be my um calendar grid and then on the second mat, this will be where we have the flowers. And I'm actually going to move this down ever so slightly. And then we have the word notes, and I'm gonna move here. I could even, if I wanted to, I could turn the notes and move it over here to be a little bit close, save space over here. So I actually might, do, might leave that like that. As far as the project itself. It is going to be on glass. The that I have has two pieces of glass. I don't have to mirror this if I don't want to. I can cut it like normal and then I can apply it to the front of the back piece of glass. If I wanted to have it on the back side of the front piece of glass, then I would have to mirror the image just like as if I were doing iron on. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is when I hit continue, it will first of all look for my Cricut Maker 3, a good strong connection via, via Bluetooth. The power button on my machine will turn from white to blue. 
I'm going to be using the regular premium vinyl removable and I want more pressure. We've got the fine point blade loaded. Let's go ahead and we're going to go to get our mat ready for cutting. We have our mats prepared. This is going to be the mat where the flowers cut out over here and then the notes here. It will leave me some additional white vinyl in this space way here on the right and that will go in my scrap bin. The other mat, this will be the grid and the months and um, the month with the line and the days of the week. I'm going to get these loaded into the uh, Maker 3 and I believe that this is probably going to be a pretty big um, time consuming project. So I'm going to go ahead and load these get them cut out, and I will come back on camera when that is finished. So in the meantime, go grab yourself a cup of coffee and relax. I'm so glad that I paused the video so that you would not have to sit here and wait. It took about um, two or so minutes, well, it took about two to three minutes for this calendar grid to be cut out. And it then took a lot longer. So I would say that this took me, you know, about, seven, you know, seven or so minutes. It, it took a little bit. Now all we have to do is turn our mats over and we're going to peel the mat away from our vinyl. And same thing here. We're going to turn this over and we're going to peel the mat away from the vinyl. Okay, we've got our two pieces here for weeding. And I am going to get started on that, and then we will put this all together. I have weeded out, oh, I think I forgot a few boxes here. Let's, I'll pull those off in a second. But I basically weeded out the month with the line. That was a very fine line, but it stayed really nicely on the carrier sheet. I have my days of the week and my grid. So I am going to take these last six boxes off. I'm not sure why I overlooked them. And then I'm going to grab my transfer tape because what we're going to do is we're going to adhere that to the front of this glass. The glass goes on top of this inside the frame. The real frame, the front of the frame, goes on top like this. So I'm going to be using this little back piece as a marker of where is where is the surface area of the glass going to be covered by the white part of the frame. Okay, so let me go ahead and get this last few these last few little boxes weeded out real quick and I'll grab my transfer tape and then we're going to get this onto the glass. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this transfer tape on here. Now this is a ginormous piece of transfer tape. It is a huge surface area. So I'm actually just going to do this slightly like a little bit at a time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this around, okay, and then just like as if I was bleeding, I'm going to pull up the corner of this transfer tape like this. It's going to go along this edge here. And I'm just going to peel back. Just going to peel back a little bit of that transfer tape because I'm going to let this carrier sheet take care of the other sticky. All right. So I make sure that the sides are lined up. That way it's not, you know, cattywampus. All right. So there we go. And then what I like to do is I like to grab a hold of this handle and then very carefully I start to work my way. And while I am working my way, I just take my scraper and, and help the transfer tape. Okay. Okay, a little bit left, just a little bit. And we are almost done. So I'm just going to work my way around the transfer tape 
It's hard for you guys to see, but I can see some bubbly areas. And I just want to try and get as many of those flat as possible. And we'll turn it over and do the back side. So excited about this. I had this kind of in my mind forever, but I didn't know how I would accomplish it. And now that we have the Cricut, we can do this quite easily. This is actually the front of the frame, okay? And I'm gonna actually put it down right here and I'm gonna have it edge up to this mat. Actually, I'm gonna, yes, all right. So the reason why I'm doing that is because I'm gonna use this kind of like as a placeholder and the glass will sit in here like this. And I'm actually going, because that last piece of glass comes out, I can take it out and flip it over so it'll be in the correct orientation. But I'm going to do it this way because this is that lip. And that, so this sits in here like this to hold it, to hold everything in place. So I want to make sure that I am centering up everything so that you can see all of the calendar, but at the same time, we have plenty of room for everything else. I just want to see kind of how this is going to go because our flowers are going to be up here at the top. And so we actually, if you notice the bottom, I don't know if you can see it, but basically the bottom of this calendar is still above that lip. That's actually a pretty good cut. And then sideways, it would just be right there. I'm thinking if I just get one part lined up really nicely, then I can pull the rest off and it'll be good. So we are in fact, this is kind of getting sticky. I just want to use this ruler and this edge, get everything lined up so that it is nice and perpendicular or parallel. I think the top is just ever so slightly. Ooh, well, I guess we're going for it, guys. I think it was like off by a, like a millimeter. That's okay. I don't think anybody will notice but me. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to very carefully, this is what that parchment paper is good for. Because the vinyl will not stick to this parchment paper. And I can pull, can pull this off. So we, we got that out of the way. Okay, so when I look at this, that looks, that looks pretty darn good. So a little at a time, I'm just going to gently get that down. Okay, I'm going to just do a gentle, just a gentle burnish. I definitely don't want to crack the glass, but knowing me, that would happen. Set that aside, and then I'm going to grab just the corner of this transfer tape. I definitely want to have the carrier sheet handy.
Oh, I am so excited. This is, wow. This is so awesome. Okay, so here is the calendar, and that looks great. And you can see I've got it kind of squared up. I mean, it's just microscopically off, and I think that'll be okay. I'm really hoping that my family will not take a ruler to it. Okay, so before we continue to get the rest of our calendar together, I just wanted to show you something. This is the floral design that is going to go along the top, and it's actually going to be upside down like this. Okay, and sometimes with these super intricate designs, I have trouble weeding. So what I have found is a couple of things. Number one, I am using this really small <clears throat> standard grip mat. Actually, this is from the Dollar Tree, so it was $1.25. And I use this for when I really need my vinyl to stay in place while I'm weeding because otherwise it likes to move around. I just wanted to share that before I finish weeding out all these tiny little tiny little um, inners. And so as soon as I get that done, then we will be back on camera and we will get this calendar finalized. So I have all of the little flower inners weeded out. Another um, advantage to using a um, very inexpensive little sticky mat like this is that I'm able to take all these little innards and as they collect on my fingers, I can just push them off and have them stick to the mat instead of being everywhere. And so I'm just double checking to make sure that I have everything weeded correctly and it looks like I do. This, these flowers are actually going to be, they're gonna be like right here. Okay, I think I might go like this and like this and see if I like that, just having it come from the corners like this, I can always come back and put more in the middle. All right, so let's get our transfer tape for these and get this ready to go. Okay, so what I've done is I have removed just a, a little bit of the transfer tape from its carrier sheet to get it down. And then I am literally going to pull this handle. I'm gonna kinda hold it down with my scraper as I pull. And this will be nice and straight. One here, ready to go. Then we're gonna do the same thing with the other one. Just gonna lift a corner of the transfer tape. And I just want a little bit of it. I don't want all of it at one time because it is way too sticky. And there we go, that looks great, okay. Move those out of the way. And I had moved this up here simply to do that, so I'm gonna put it right back underneath here. This is this is pretty lined up right here, so um, we are just gonna get that going. Alright, I'm gonna pull off the carrier sheet very carefully. And Sometimes we just have to coax some of these little There we go. This one in particular, I just need to coax it back into its spot. Fantastic. Okay, now again, these are going to go upside down, and I want them to be right up here against where that frame is going to be. So the frame is actually a really good help for the lining it up. Okay, and then this will be our last one. And then I'm going to come back later, and I think I might add some more in the middle. I don't know. We'll have to see, let it grow on us, or not. And that is the beauty of designing your own calendar, is that you can just do whatever makes you happy, whatever suits your family's needs or your design preferences.
Oh, that it looks so good. Okay, so here is the last of the assembly. And you'll notice that I have this little thing at the bottom, which is great because I'm actually gonna be hanging it from here if I decide to hang it. But right now, I think I'm just going to have it leaning against a little um, wall. So the first thing I'm gonna do is remove. Okay, so this will go in here. Perfect. I think that's great. This looks pretty, pretty good. Then we'll put the holder piece in here. This is the finished product. I am so excited about this. Okay, so now that I have all of this put together, I, I put the parchment paper underneath just so you could see what it would look like against a white wall. But now that it's done, I literally can just take my vis vis and I can write the month. Okay, I can put it as big or as little as I want. And then I can come in here, fill in the days. Like this, the eighth is my sister's birthday. I can put a balloon for her and then we get to Valentine's Day so we'll have a little heart for Valentine's Day hey I could be wrong but I think this year is leap year so I may have to come back and erase the 29th and then over here we can always write ourselves a note Alright, so menus, reminders, etc. Little love notes for your family, all of this. And then at the end of the month, we wipe it clean and start all over. The, uh, another thing I can do is put a swatch of scrapbooking paper behind here for different seasons. But for right now, I think this is amazing. So I hope that I have um, been able to teach you a little bit, to inspire you a whole lot. Um, if you liked this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Um, and we'll just continue to craft and learn together. And in the meantime, happy crafting. Thank you all so much for watching today. I'm so glad that you can join me at my craft table. If you're not already, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you'll know when new videos arrive. Have a great day and as always, happy crafting.